tacos. I chop some green onion, parsley, cilantro. Chop the onion on. This is a very easy dish. First, we heat the pan with maximum heat. Then we put the meat in. Now the pan is super hot. I can feel the heat. I'm gonna put the meat in. And I'm gonna try to stir the meat. Then I'm gonna put a teaspoon of um, brown sugar. You can put white sugar, but I'm gonna put brown sugar. And stir it for a little bit, then you're gonna cover that. After a few minutes, uh, the onion needs to be transparent. You can put one tablespoon of tomato paste, and you mix everything together. You can see how uh, it's getting a little bit, getting a little bit colorful, a little bit red. It's a very easy dish to do. Anybody can do that. Put a teaspoon of uh, black pepper. Just put a little bit, not the matches. I can see it's like a teaspoon. Uh, if you have a garlic powder, you can put a teaspoon of garlic powder. If you have oregano, you can put like a teaspoon of oregano too. Salt, a teaspoon of salt. The pan, if you want a little bit more salt, you can put more salt. I don't like too much salt in my food. I put a little bit. It's done. Let me check. It's working very good. I'm gonna put uh, one, one, one spoon of olive oil. I like olive oil. Yes. You mix. Smell very good. Smell wonderful. Look very good, sir. Okay, I'm gonna check again. Look very good. And this taking maybe 10 minutes to do. It's very easy to do. If you're coming home from the wall, you don't have a lot of time. I'm gonna take this to the maximum heat. I'm gonna let that this brown a little bit. And I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil, a little bit more. I'm gonna say half teaspoon of olive oil. And it's gonna be done. And when it gets brown, the way you like it, three minutes. And it's done, it's very easy. If you have everything chopped ready, ready to go, time to eat. You can stir like this, see how beautiful, how good it looks. And it's almost done. And it smells amazing. And this is be good for if you have a kid, maybe you want to eat something easy, you can't run walk. Now I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna remove the pan from the stove. I'm gonna put some of the meat inside the chicken dish because I'm gonna use the same pan to do the tortillas. The tortillas, you can buy a fresh one or you can buy any grocery store. A lot of times, sometimes I buy fresh ones, sometimes I buy some from the grocery store. Whatever is easy for you, 
like uh, most of the time you don't have a time to go around and look for fresh stuff. This is a great product. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in a pan. And and it's like it's stir the, the tortilla around. You can put that in different ways. You can put that in a microwave if it's easy for you. This way I'm doing because they have the leftover the juice from the meat. Turning the tortilla around, you can see it's because the pan was still have a juicy from the meat. It's still colorful. In the heat, and this way they're gonna be looking like it. You can uh, do more or less. The pan is on your taste. This is what they're gonna be looking like. Let me show you how I make my taco. I put a little bit of meat. The whole tortilla. And whatever you want, it's your choice what you want to put in your tacos. In my case, I like everything. This is cilantro. I put green onion. I put tomatoes. I put more uh, parsley if you like parsley. If you do not, it's up to you. Uh, you can put jalapeno or serrano, depending what you want. You can make this way, or you can put leathers. Or you can start with leathers and finish with other stuff on the top. It's up to you. But this way, I like my tacos. I squeeze the lemon juice. I put some a little bit more salt if you like more salt. I put cumin, uh, black pepper. This is the way they're gonna look when you're done. You can use a soft shell or hard shell. Thank you very much.